Hey, so today is go battle day. You guys can do up to 100 battles or 20 sets. So there's a lot of Stardust to be gained and a lot of ELO to potentially climb. And with this team in the Mountain Cup, Gliscor, Empoleon, and Lucario, you guys have a lot of fantastic coverage, great baiting opportunity, and hard hitting charge moves for this meta. All right, getting into the first battle, we have Gliscor on the lead versus Marshdom. So not the best of lead matchups if we're being honest right here. So we're gonna go ahead and swap into Lucario right away. Now, this isn't a much better option because we will be taking super effective damage from mud bomb but we do have a lot of potential with power up punch and shadow ball so they decide to bring in an s cavalier and this is perfect and this is what i was saying about this team it's very flexible a shadow ball now can get ourselves shielded or uh, even shields and we keep the s cavalier away from the empoleon which is going to be very important now we only have one shield left in order to dance around here with Gliscor and Megahorn here potentially coming from the S Cavalier can still do a lot of resisted damage. As you guys can see, 50% from a resisted charge move. Like, come on. So I'm going to have to throw a Night Slash now in order to get the S Cavalier out of there. Um, otherwise, we're going to be taking a lot of damage from the next charge move. So they decide to let it go. Now, what's cool about this Marsh Stomp matchup is if I can time it correctly, I might just be able to catch a Surf here on Empoleon. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a Night Slash, and then we will have to go for a second Night Slash as well to try to get that final shield from the opponent. So we're going to go ahead and shield here. It is going to be the Surf, and now we go for our own Night Slash in order to force their final shield. And this is where the opportunity now has come in because they're going to click on Surf um, right when they have the energy. So I'm going to go ahead and swap now to catch the Charge Move here it is, as it is going to be resisted. They wouldn't go for a Mud Bomb because it's resisted on Gliscor, right? And we see the final Pokemon is actually going to be a Diggersby. So this is beautiful right here as Empoleon with Hydro Cannon can uh, one-shot. You love to see it. Boom! One-shots the Diggersby and then the Marshomp goes down to Waterfall and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, moving to the next one. We have Gliscor on the lead versus Frostlass. Okay, so this is that tough lead matchup, and we're going to swap into Lucario because Empoleon is a better answer, and they bring in, once again, another S Cavalier. This is very common that you will typically see if you lose a lead and safe swap one of these steals, you're going to be facing off against a steel counter in the back, and it's typically going to be the S Cavalier, or it's going to be a Mud Boy, both of which you can get yourself shield advantage. So now we're going to go ahead and come in with that Gliscor and load up on energy. We're also going to go ahead and let the charge move go through. And this is what something I noticed. They went for Drill Run, which is even more resisted. So this means they probably don't have Mega Horn. So I'm not going to shield this next one because it might just be Acid Spray, which it is. This now gives us a huge opportunity to load up on energy and fully farm down. And this is now a very, very deadly situation for my opponent because I have multiple night slashes ready to go that does a ton of super effective damage and as you guys are going to see we're going to be forcing that final shield here from the opponent now we're going to swap out into Empoleon get ahead on energy and they're not swapping out so I'm going to go ahead and give up one shield here as my Gliscor does have a good amount of energy still in the back and we should be able to farm down with Waterfall and the final Pokemon is Bastidon good game very well played this is something very common that i saw um and uh and a lot of fun especially when you can bait out those s cavaliers all right we got a gliscor mirror fight right here which is pretty interesting and in these situations i like to keep my gliscor alive so i will swap out after night slash number two now they got an attack boost right there which is always deadly and unfortunate for me because now they're going to be doing a lot more damage than i am so i have to swap out early and now i have to tank the Night Slash here on my own Empoleon. And this is also going to force them to swap out. They got a second attack boost. I'm like, come on. Now they swap into Lapras, but thankfully that second attack boost doesn't matter anymore because when you swap out, those kind of buffs and debuffs in the game get cleared when the Pokemon comes off of the field. So against this uh, Lapras here, we're just going to look to do as many drill pecs as we can as it does do quite a bit of neutral damage. And then they're gonna go ahead and farm us down. So this is actually a good opportunity now for Lucario to come in and counter down as they're extremely low. So they might not be able to get to another Surf in time because I think they need one more Ice Shard. I could be wrong, 
but it looks like they did need one more ice shard and we fully countered down beautiful next pokemon coming in is actually going to be a pseudo wudo which is very cool because we are running power up punch here which means our own counter damage is going to be doing a lot more than theirs and we do get a shield right there so we're just going to go ahead and do as much counter damage as possible I will give up a shield as well. And remember, their Gliscor is extremely low. So they decide to swap out now into Gliscor, but we have a Power Up Punch ready to go. And we still have our own Gliscor with a Night Slash, and we got both shields. So this is going to be a good game, very well played. It got a little bit dicey there at the beginning with the double boost on their own Gliscor, but ultimately we were able to recover right here. And I believe my opponent um, closed their app, which is what... Uh, which is what happens here. Good game to my opponent. Um, but ultimately, the uh, the power-up punch combo there with Lucario really helped out. So that is going to be a good game. All right, moving to the next one. We got Gliscor on the lead versus Lapras. So very tough lead matchup. We're going to go ahead and swap now into Empoleon. This is something cool is both Empoleon and Lucario can act as the safe swap on this team. And it all depends on what you face. If you face a Frostlass like we saw in a previous game, Empoleon's going to be the better counter there just because of the raw waterfall damage and the resistance to powder snow. And then um, in the situation of like Lapras, Lucario is going to be the better counter because of the counter damage, right? So we got a shield here from Torterra. Gliscor can easily come in and I decide to risk it and let this go. It's going to be a frenzy plant. Boom! Nearly one shots me. But I'm trusting that Lucario is going to be able to sweep. This is a risky call but I'm giving all shields to Lucario and they decide to come in with Lapras. I'm like, oh boy, you know how weak a team must be if a Lapras is the best counter to a Lucario with two shields, my goodness. And we have power up punch. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to town and we're gonna look to fully farm down now as they shouldn't be able to get to another surf in time. And whatever's in the back, we should be able to close this game out. But they had a Gligar which is very interesting. So a, um, I would say not the most optimal decision. Gligar could have easily come into my Lucario early um, and they would have probably won. So my only win condition now is to get a shield bait here with the power up punch, which we do. And then now go for the shadow ball with one HP and a dream and a double boosted Lucario. You love to see it. Boom. Now I shouldn't have won that game right on paper. If they brought in the Gligar right there, it would have been good game because the I wouldn't have been able to take down the Lapras in time. All right, so we got Quagsire here on the lead. So we see a Quagsire, we see a Frostlass, and my first thought is this was a team that I made on day one. Quagsire, um, Camerupt, and Frostlass. So I am hard reading that that is what this team is, which I need to save um, basically my Empoleon to take this team out. So I'm going to go ahead and stay in here with Gligar and go for another Night Slash because I should be able to get a shield. And then now I'm going to come in with Lucario and try to counter down again, saving, um, my Empoleon to close this game out. So I'm going to let the Shadow Ball go through. Again, this is, I am hard reading camera up in the back. We're coming in with Empoleon loading up on energy because now we should be able to take down both Quagsire and the, uh, the uh, camera up, but it's not. It's an S Cavalier in the back. So this is what I get for trying to predict what the team is. So good game to my opponent. I could have won potentially um, if I just brought in the Empoleon right away into Frostlass, right? And played it off of that because then the Gliscor would have had a lot of better time against both the S Cavalier and the uh, Quagsire. But ultimately, I'm not winning this game. So this is a good game to my opponent, but that's a mistake on me and sometimes that happens when you try to hard read a team and your prediction is just wrong. I mean, I was going based off of relatively solid information that, you know, there was a team like this out there of Quagsire and Frostlass and Frostlass was the safe swap, but ultimately they ran a different Pokemon in the back and that caught me. So good game. All right, Gliscor on the lead versus Celio. Bad lead. We're going to go right into Empoleon. Again, similar situation to Lapras or Walrein lead where you swap into Empoleon. And this is actually a really good um, mid game for us because we don't take any neutral um, or super effective damage from a Celio because it doesn't have access to that earthquake like its evolution Walrein does. So these body slams, they start to chunk, but ultimately they don't do too much damage. And drill pecs right here are really going to start threatening. Now they must be very weak in the back as well to Empoleon, which means they might be weak in the back to Lucario. But ultimately, if we can get this thing off the field, 
we're looking pretty good. So we're going to let that body slam go through. We're going to go ahead and commit to the waterfall farm down. And now we're just going to go ahead and throw a blind hydro cannon basically at whatever is coming in. Because I'm guessing it's not going to be a water ice because that was on the lead, right? So we're going to go ahead and throw the hydro cannon. It was a Runarigus. So that's beautiful. We get a shield there. Now we can safely bring in the Gliscor here with shield advantage and a super effective charge move with Night Slash. Now, this doesn't one shot, but it's going to put a lot of pressure on the opponent to potentially shield because of the damage that it can do. And we just need to be careful about that Shadow Ball coming through. So we're going to go ahead and give up a shield here. And it is going to be the Shadow Ball. Perfect. We're in a very good situation now. They decide to swap out into Diggersby. So now I bring in the Lucario. And this makes a lot of sense. Think about it. We safe swapped in our Empoleon and the opponent did not swap out. And it makes sense because there's a Diggersby and a Runarigus in the back, both of which get absolutely destroyed by Empoleon. And in this case, um, the uh, Lucario and Gliscor combination here can win this game. Now, I'm going to let Lucario go down. My lose condition is if I shield that charge move and get hit with a Shadow Ball from Runarigus. My win condition here is going for Night Slashes against Diggersby and trying to force a shield from them. So we're going to go ahead and load up, and I also get an attack boost. Here comes another Night Slash. If they decide to let this go, I mean, either way, it's a good game. I have them in a checkmate position. So they decided to shield, and now they decided to swap out into Runarigus right away. I think they maybe lost track of how much energy I did have. But ultimately, we got a lot, and we're going to be able to farm down, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. All right, moving to the next one, we got Gliscor on the lead versus Gliscor once again. So just like before, unless they get a boost, um, we're going to try to stay in for two Night Slashes and then bail out. So we're going to go ahead and go for one Night Slash, and then we're going to look to go into our Empoleon as the safe swap here to try to chunk that extra HP. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let this one go through. And then we are now going to go for another Night Slash. And once this goes through, I'm going to try to fast swap into Empoleon to, uh, to do that waterfall damage. And they fast swap out as well at the exact same time. So this is unfortunate for me because I could have freely brought in a Lucario right there. That's a huge oof on my end. But ultimately, I think we're still looking good. Now, we have to watch out for Thunder, but I'm going to go ahead and let it go. It is just going to be a Power Whip, so they can't farm us down, so they're going to be forced to throw energy here, which is fine. I'm now going to load up with Lucario, which can be very deadly against their team if they don't have um, the right coverage for it, because that Gliscor is very low, remember? So if that's the only counter to Lucario, we're looking very good. So we're going to go ahead and farm down. Next Pokemon coming in is going to be going to be the Gliscor. I'm like, okay, well, they're in trouble because Power Up Punch right here is going to do enough damage to just barely take them out. No, it doesn't. So they do get to the charge move, but this is only a Night Slash. So we're going to go ahead and let this go as it is resisted. We are boosted and now they decide to bring in a camera up. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Power Up Punch just to hope is do as much damage as possible and we get a shield. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out now into Gliscor because I should be able to get to two Night Slashes right here against the opponent. This is going to come down to the timing of my charge move if I can get it. So we shield the Earth Power here. We're looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Night Slash now because they're in the middle of their fast move animation so they weren't able to sneak one in and then we should be able to get to another one in time and we do so that is going to be a good game very well played really wish that i saw the and we also get an attack boost there at the end i really wish that i saw the uh swap to ferrothorn first because think about the alignment i would have had lucario on ferrothorn and empoleon and camera that would have been beautiful now we have a Kartana here on the lead, which is very positive for us. We're going to go for Night Slash right away, as it does do neutral damage, because this is the same typing as Ferrothorn. It's going to be Grass Steel. We see a swap out into Shadow Camera Up, so we're going to bring in that Empoleon right away, and fast move down. See ya! Goodbye, Shadow Camera Up. And we're going to see that Kartana come back in, and thankfully Razor Leaf only does neutral damage to us because of our typing, which means they won't be able to destroy us in time, so we can go for a Drill Pack here. And we do get Shield number 2 from them. Oh man, 
Giving up two shields to a Lucario and Gliscor. You're asking for it. So we're going to go ahead and come in with Lucario and counter down because it will do super effective damage and just delete it. And the final Pokemon is actually going to be a Shadow Mawile, which is dangerous. And we get there just in time for the Shadow Ball. And this is going to be a good game. Very well played. Boom! One shots it. What a fun team. Gliscor, Empoleon, and Lucario right here. It did very, very well for me in the Mountain Cup. Um, and again, if you guys lose lead, which I showcased a lot today, it depends. Your safe swap is going to depend on what lead you face. If you face off against something like Walrein, Celio, or Lapras, you're going to want to go into uh, Empoleon safe swap because Lucario is the better answer. But if you face off against something like a Frostlass, um, then you're going to want to go into Impo or, uh, Lucario safe swap because Empoleon is a better answer to it with a waterfall damage. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.